normally it's very busy this place uh, and uh, you get hundreds of people here. It's probably the most popular place on the island, uh, pop popular lake anyway. But uh, even when it's really popular, people are a bit like water, you know, they follow the path of least resistance. And you can come here on a busy day, but you just go around the corner over there, you come to another beach just like this, and it's just perfectly, there's nobody there. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's, uh, and it's, and it's, uh, it's quite a unique lake. The sand here is very white. You can see it's like snow. And it's a, very, it's a sign of its age. This is one of the oldest lakes on the island. It's been dated to about 65,000 years old. And uh, that's why they, they say you can clean your jewelry in the sand. It sounds a bit irrational, but like a, uh, it's very fine sand. The older sand gets, the, the finer it becomes. And uh, uh, you just rub it gently on the sand and cleans it. I'm a ranger or a tour guide, if you like, uh, for three days a week and then the rest of the time I'm a photographer. And I do books and postcards and as you see. Yeah. We need a photographer on the road. As, uh, yeah, you're, you're trying to poach me for your oh, uh, road trip, eh? Uh, would love <laughs> to poach you. Okay, uh, well, uh, I can do that. Uh, you can do a deal? Yeah, you can do a deal. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I like the idea of knowing one place really well, and uh, um, I know Fraser better than any other place, and it helps me in my uh, uh, trans in translating what I know into something that people can use, maybe. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm, not, I'm not sure if I get through to people, uh, you know, some... Uh, some people maybe uh, with whether it's through my photo photography or through my guiding, uh, but I sort of I have a uh, a quote that I use a lot in my uh, work, and it's uh, we only preserve what we love, we only love what we understand, and we only understand what we study. That's a Tibetan saying, and uh, I sort of try and somehow put that philosophy in everything I do. Uh, so whether or not it works, I'm not sure, uh, but uh, I'll just put it out there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of uh, Fraser Island being like a living organism, like the Aborigines have a creation myth about the island, right? And it's actually the body of a girl, a body of a goddess called Guri, and uh, she helped uh, a creative spirit called Yininji create the, the world, and she fell in love with the earth and wanted to live here, but instead of living here as a god, uh, she, she lay down in the water and went to sleep, and they transformed her body into the island. And they gave her all the forest as a place for all the, uh, for all the uh, animals to live, her own people to keep her company and look after her, and gave her the lakes. The lakes actually the eyes of this princess so she can still see into the sky world and the world around her. And her name means paradise, and like that's the best story. <laughs>